Welcome and hello. This is Caffeine Zombies with some bite-sized news. Today is July 18th, 2024. Trump will be speaking at the RNC today, and his speech is supposedly rewritten after the shooting on Saturday, which is exactly what some of the Trump's allies are urging him to do. Others in the party continue their divisive rhetoric against Biden and his administration. But they aren't alone. The Democrats continue to pressure Biden into stepping down from his running and letting anyone take over. With all of these Democrats asking for him to step down, you may think the party is divided. But if anything, it seems like they are coming around to support the policies that Biden has helped to get passed to indicate how good and important of a president he has been. This isn't about him being a bad person or bad at his job. It's that he simply hasn't been able to impart to the American people any of his record in a strong and confident fashion. The stakes are just too high, and it isn't clear which option is best, stick with Biden or go with someone else. A protein called IL-11 has been called out as promoting inflammation and decreasing lifespans. Scientists have some preliminary tests in mice that show if you block that one protein, it reduces frailty and increases lifespans by about 25%. They did this through antibodies that blocked IL-11 as well as genetic engineering, and both results uh, were positive, regardless of which way they went. Antibodies that block IL-11 have already been used in humans as part of treating cancer and fibrosis. To see if it increases human life would mean waiting a long time before these options become available for the rest of us, and so scientists are hopeful they'll see age-related symptoms be minimized instead in people who actually get drugs or antibodies uh, to do this. Other tests are being done to reproduce the effects seen in the original set of mice, so look forward to those to make sure that it's reproducible. Immortal mice are next. The director of the Secret Service, Kimberly Cheadle, will soon be giving testimony surrounding the events of the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump and what ball was dropped that allowed the shooter to take those shots in the first place. A lot of details have come out, including the FBI having finished their search of the vehicle, the house, and now have recent calls and texts with no motive still clear as to why the shooter performed the action, or if there was a lot of planning involved. They already know that even the morning of is when Thomas Matthew Crooks, the shooter, purchased the rounds used in the shooting, as well as a ladder. The pier that the Biden administration installed off of Cyprus so as to have more of a direct route to get people in Gaza aid has finally been ended. That project is now kaput. Since its creation, it has failed three times, and while at the end of the day it did deliver 20 million pounds of aid in just 20 days, it also cost nearly $230 million to do so. Was there another option of giving the aid if that was the goal? Likely not, but it was a far cry from the success the administration wanted it to be. It, this was really eventful because it was trying to deliver aid during an active combat zone, right? It is hard to estimate how many lives it, even this failed attempt saved in Gazan lives. Now that the aid will be coming through the Ashdod port, however, it'll have to get offloaded onto trucks and driven into northern Gaza instead. The briberies will just not stop. Former CIA agent Su Mi Terry worked as a spy for the South Korean government in exchange for fancy handbags, expensive dinners, and luxury goods. Basically, the Bob Menendez of the CIA. And it's just been discovered. More details forthcoming.